next thing you've got to do is, um, is look at what types of cloud platform are available in the market. I'm sure you're all aware of what the cloud platforms are and the benefits and the, sort of the disadvantages some of them are. So I'm going to test you. So who can tell me what a public cloud is? Show of hands, no hands. Do I need to pick on someone? Chris? Yeah. Uh, OK, so what's the main, the main feature of a, of, a, of a public cloud platform? What's the main thing which makes it a public cloud platform? in the public domain. Okay, so the thing I was getting at is a public cloud, the fact that it makes it public, it's multi-tenanted, okay? So access from anywhere, totally shared resource. Who can suggest some of the disadvantages of a public cloud environment? Anybody? Everybody's remarkably quiet today. Security. security, yeah, we'll come up with security in a sec. So definitely either a real security threat or a perceived security threat. threat the public cloud. So the next major cloud building block, we've got private cloud. So can anybody tell me what a, pri what, what a private cloud is? Single, absolutely right. So the main, main difference between public cloud and pri private cloud, uh, single tenancy. So you, you buy your own kit, either you run it as an organization or you give it to somebody else to run it. But that, that equipment, um, that runs your cloud platform is reserved entirely for you. So who can tell me what the main, main disadvantage of a private cloud platform is? Potentially, yeah. The main, the main problem is flexibility. So if you, if you want to burst outside of your private, private cloud platform, you're constrained by the hardware in which you buy. Okay, so it's a main, main disadvantage. So in order to address those, the markets come up with kind of three offerings which, um, which, can, which can address those organizations which maybe private cloud's not quite right, maybe public cloud's not quite right. So first one is the community cloud, which isn't um, really widely used. Does anybody know what a community cloud is? Anybody? Kind of, yeah. It kind of, so a community cloud is where like-minded organizations, and this mostly happens in the public sector, club together and they build their own cloud infrastructure. So, um, and then the peaks and troughs are balanced across a bigger, white, a bigger user group. So the whole IT shared services model in the public sector is pretty much based on community clouds. Um, next one is a hybrid cloud. Anybody familiar with hybrid clouds? Anybody? Yeah. I'm underwhelmed, I must say. Um, so hybrid clouds, Some, somebody who takes some public cloud infrastructure and some private cloud infrastructure. So we've got customers who might have an e-commerce platform. We might put them on a multi-tenanted front end. So that, that multi-tenancy allows them to burst up and down and add uh, resource due to seasonal fluctuations. And some of their back-end processing systems they might put on a, on, a, on a dedicated hardware platform. But essentially, with a hybrid cloud, you put a bit of glue in between, which, which allows information to travel between uh, the private and the public elements of that platform. And essentially, you've also got portability between the two as well if you want to promote certain boxes from the private cloud into the, into the public cloud tier, should your security policy allow you to. The third one, which is kind of a, the newest to the market, is the concept of a virtual private cloud. Any volunteers to tell me what, what a virtual private cloud is? George? It is a virtual private cloud, well done. <laughs> An example of. So this, this is where we try to, try to utilize the benefits of, of a public cloud, something which is multi-tenanted and elastic, but we put some sort of trust bubble around it. So the way in which we do that is either put a network connection in or a, um, an IPsec VPN and share usually an AD trust between the environment so that it sits on the public cloud infrastructure and your own IT environment, so that allows you to enforce your own security policy onto a public cloud infrastructure, and you build a trust bubble around the services you take um, from, from your public cloud provider. 
Okay, services-wise, we've got infrastructure as a service. Everybody clear what infrastructure as a service is? Yeah, everybody's absolutely clear. So infrastructure as a service is where we um, essentially give our customers services uh, which pretty much stop at the operating system. So if you take a managed operating system model from an infrastructure as a service provider, um, they will typically manage the OS. Or if you manage the OS, you will have an RDP type command line style login or a console style login to that infrastructure. That's what makes it infrastructure as a service. Next one up the stack, platform as a service. This is the one which causes most confusion. So anybody, can anybody be brave enough to give me the definition of platform as a service? Absolutely right, that's right. So platform as a service gives you basically an application stack for you to develop certain applications on, but it doesn't give you access to the underlying uh, infrastructure typically, okay? And then the one where I think we're mostly all familiar with, software as a service. So software as a service, absolutely, uh, you take that service end to end, you pay a subscription, you've got no access to the underlying application, infrastructure, storage switches at all. Okay, so from that complicated slide of all those options, and we've got providers in the market providing different versions of those building blocks, we've got to try and decide um, which provider potentially we should go to and which, which model of delivery. 